It's a breakthrough that could eliminate the need for human-to-human -human kidney transplants. Scientists at the University of Queensland have grown a kidney in a laboratory. It's excited patients, but the researchers say much more work still needs to be done. It's hard to imagine something so small could be so big. Researchers at the University of Queensland's Institute for Molecular Bioscience have been toiling for years developing the building blocks of a human kidney. Using stem cells, the Institute's developed a protocol that allows all the structures needed to grow a mini kidney in a laboratory. The uh, team have been able to work out how to completely reprogram this embryonic stem cell to form the important components of a kidney. And then when they're in the dish, they actually organise themselves into a kidney-like structure. Only one in four Australian kidney patients will receive a transplant. The rest depend on costly and time-consuming dialysis to survive. Brisbane transplant recipient Janelle Cahoon says waiting for a human donor is agonising. You, you feel kind of morbid waiting for someone to die so you can live, basically. Researchers are hailing this mini-kidney as a breakthrough, but warn it could be years before a transplant's possible. Well, it's difficult to put a time on, on how long it will be before we turn this into an actual functioning kidney. I mean, two years ago, we would never have dreamed that this was possible. Uh, and today, as we stand here, we can see that it's completely possible. In the meantime, researchers say they can use the manufactured kidneys to test new treatments. I hope it's developed quickly and that it's, it's available for everyone as soon as can be. A small step that could mean a big leap for those whose lives are affected. Sam Burgess, ABC News, Brisbane.